Terry Hawkins is a modern day Wonder Woman, a dynamic international speaker, best selling author, and single mother of two. She is what many would call on the leading edge, a progressive thinker with advanced ideas. She is sought after by many of the largest corporations for her advice, wisdom, and motivational abilities. Recently, her health took a turn for the worse. Having been on medications and feeling that is not the answer, she came across elite healer Ed Stracher on Facebook and was both very skeptical yet curious at the same time. Here, Terry Hawkins tells her powerful story of what happened next. My name is Terry Hawkins and I am a speaker. I'm a businesswoman. I run a, a training organization both here in the United States and in Australia. And I'm an author of children's uh, self-awareness books and also I've written an adult's um, self-awareness book. Uh, above all of that, I'm a mum to two of the most amazing young men that I could wish for. I first came across Ed Stratcher on Facebook. I had been experiencing um, some extreme symptoms of an autoimmune disorder that I had been diagnosed with uh, two years prior to that. I'd probably had the disorder probably, I don't know, probably four or five years up to being diagnosed and so I didn't know what it was. I ended up becoming bedridden when I first got to America and as a result, you know, to cut a long story short, I ended up losing everything really. I lost my wealth, my spirit was almost knocked out of me, my health was in the toilet and uh, I had two boys who were watching their mother who had dragged them to the other side of the world and were basically watching their mother fall apart. So when I got diagnosed, I felt amazing. When I was first put on medication, even my doctor actually said to me, um, he said, I was very excited to meet you. He said, because with the levels that came back from your um, testing, I can't believe you're still standing. So I felt a little bit chuffed about that. I know it's a stupid way to, to be, but I, I was, uh, you know, I thought that's my constitution. And it wasn't until, you know, uh, quite a few years later that I realized that that's probably got me in that state was my blind constitution, you know, my, my ability just to keep going and not notice the little signs. And so I had been to two specialists at this point uh, because I would get better and then I get worse and then I get better and then I get worse. And then I found this other doctor who was a specialist, you know, she'd written books and the whole thing and uh, she lectured at university. So I thought, well, she must know, she must be able to help me feel better. And she said, actually, she said, I'll have you feeling like a 35 year old. And I've got to admit, there was a period there for about four or five months where I actually did feel like a 35 year old. My weight dropped off. I just felt incredible. I had so much energy. But of course, it returns normal. And I remember her saying, it's going to wear off because your body's going to get used to the drugs. And there was something inside of me all along that felt I didn't have an illness. I, these were symptoms of something else. And I always believed deep in my soul that every illness is somewhere an unresolved emotional issue. And so I started doing the whole metaphysical, which I've been into for years and years, and started looking at, well, what was it? What was this autoimmune and, and what was it trying to communicate to me? And what did I need to learn? And, and so I started doing that walk of deep self-discovery. And uh, when I just kept getting worse and worse, I kept seeing these Facebook posts pop up where people were leaving testimonials. And it was obvious that you know, I saw this, the pattern where Ed must ask people to give him a testimonial at the end and he puts it on Facebook because it was the same thing and I'm into patterns, of course. And so that made me a little bit dubious. They were consistently of the same results, which made me dubious again. And that's what Ed said. You know, he said when we first started um, communicating, that was the word that I used. Uh, I, I'm very open. I have a very healthy skepticism, but I'm open to anything. Like I love pioneers and I feel like I'm a pioneer in many things as well. I also had a belief, and I think this is the really, really important part. I truly believe that it was possible to heal. I knew that. I just didn't have the toolkit to heal me. So even though I had done it before, like I had healed myself from a fin shot from a surfboard, I had an ulcerated throat where, you know, this, the throat, a doctor told me, told me that I would be on medication for the rest of my life and it was the only way to treat it. And if I didn't, I would get cancer of the throat. I mean, hello. And so I asked how long it would, you know, how sure was he? And he said 99% sure. Uh, he gave me four weeks. I went back in for another endoscopy and of course it came back and he was actually angry. He thought he'd misdiagnosed me because he goes, oh my gosh, that's like brand new skin. And he took a photo. Uh, and so I knew 
Yeah, I knew that I could heal myself. But at this point in my life, the illness and the symptoms were so blindsiding me on every level that I just couldn't even have the energy to focus on healing. I didn't even know how to go about it. So I did. I reached out to Ed and we had our first consultation and he charged probably this, you know, same amount that a normal specialist would charge, probably not as much as a normal specialist actually. Um, and he nailed it in that first session. He picked a few things uh, that just resonated with me. And so I said, okay, to the follow-up treatments and we're talking many thousands of dollars. Yeah. And so the reason I say that is because uh, you know, it's not as much as 10 and it's more than four. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just throw it in there and it could be different for different people. I don't know how he works, but for me, it was a lot of money, especially at that time, because I wasn't earning a lot of money and I just needed to be well though. And can I tell you, I don't place a value on my wellness. You know, you can go out and buy a car and yet uh, die six months later from something that could have been healed. So I went through the process with Ed and I believed. Now, this is, I keep saying this, but I, it's so big for me because I have people calling me saying, how are you so well? So Ed and I had our first session, I would have to say about two years ago. I think what happened was he actually, and I'm going to say we did it together because it takes two of us. And he is the master, of course, he's incredible with what he does. Honestly, he truly is um, a genius at healing, but he needs a willing participant as well. So if I'm going to fight him all the way and be negative and not believe it and be a skeptic, of course, it's not going to work. I said that to our clients, you know, if they don't do the work and do what we ask them to do, they're not going to get the results that we ask for either. So I knew how to play the game. I knew how to be a good learner and a good receiver and a good patient. And so uh, we did the process and then it, the healing must have occurred around the same time, but I stayed on the medication because I was scared. And so I ended up where I went almost reverse and it was crazy. And I'm not even, I won't bore you with all the details of the symptoms, but I went to another specialist and all three, by the way, have said to me, this is incurable. You'll be on medication for the rest of your life. That doesn't resonate with me. I'm sorry. You don't tell me that I'm going to be on medication for the rest of my life. And so I went to the doctor and she did more tests and she said, get off the medication she goes, you could have a heart attack at any moment. You are so overdosed, it's not funny. So I think that what's happened is I was on the medication, I got healed, I stayed on the medication, so now I'm, see? And so I went off the medication and I had the worst probably four or five days of my life. She then proceeded to tell, I thought I was dying actually, to tell you the truth. I told my sister to get my will drawn up and... She told me, oh, she goes, I'm so sorry. She goes, I, I meant to tell you, you were having a drug withdrawal from the medication that you were on. So I went off all my medication and just trusted. I remember I picked up that tablet one morning and I looked at it and I went, no more. I'm not doing this. I truly believe uh, that I am healed. Can I just say, I have never, ever felt more amazing. So now it's whatever it is. I think I've been off medication for probably, it's coming up to nearly 12 months. And I feel sensational. Honestly, I've had energy. I'm positive. My, I'm quite calm. I still get angry, of course, like, you know, I'm still a normal person. Uh, but I've got to tell you that when I continue the path of uh, what Ed has taught me and do the disciplines, because there is a discipline required, then my life is amazing. And yes, I take supplements and yes, I, I'm still that, there's still that part of me that goes, you know, I better take my little energy drink and, you know, eat well and, and, you know, all those normal things to try and keep my body feeling great. Uh, but honestly, my weight hasn't changed. I've stayed at hundred and I think it's like 20 pound or whatever. Um, and it feels fantastic. It might go up to about 123, 124 sometimes, but, uh, it always settles back. I am optimistic. I feel vibrant. I love my life. And I really, really do thank Ed for doing that initial clearing for me. You know, whatever it is, you know, it's a, it really is at a cellular level. I've done enough study into brain technology and the power of the mind and changing at a cellular level. Uh, I know it's possible and I know scientifically it is. So when I have people, some people would call me and say, how are you doing it? Oh my gosh. I would tell them about Ed. And I remember I had one person who was suffering in her words, 
uh, like her life was over because of this particular ailment. And she was offended by the money that Ed was charging. That blew my mind because there's no way in the world that any of us would go out and work and not get paid for it. And I think the crazy thing is, is, is how much we value our health. What are we willing to pay for that? So why don't we sell our house and live in a smaller house and get better? Or why don't we sell our car and get a less car or whatever? Do you know what I'm saying? And so she didn't follow through, but she still has the ailment. And I cannot speak or hear of her ailment because I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. He has a gift, this man, and he uses it very powerfully. I always make a joke and say he doesn't have the best bedside manner. Um, you know, the sad part is I just think some people are just so fickle that the way someone speaks to them, they can flick them off. Well, you know, I just see beyond that. I, I just see his brilliance. And you know what I, you know, the biggest thing for me was I had two boys. I had two children. I was the only breadwinner and always have been. I couldn't fall apart. I couldn't allow my life to, you know, if I was single and had no responsibilities, I'd go, oh, well, pff, you know, it's been a good 50 years, but it's over. And I have all this work still left in my life's work. So I will be forever indebted to Ed. I think that he uh, is, a, is such a gift to our planet. And I'm really, really looking forward to the day that the world, and I think it's happening actually, um, starts to wake up to the fact that we do not need a pharmaceutical medicine always we have been so trained and our bodies have been so manipulated over all of these centuries that of course you know we can't just wipe it out um, overnight but guess what we can do we can all start to wake up and we can all start to realize that there are other ways and um, I just feel really really blessed I really do I've said to Ed before that he's before his time um, or I should say before the world the world's time he, he is so far ahead of where most people are at. And the sad part is most of the time you've got to meet people where they are because um, if you don't, they don't get it. And it just saddens me that we could so easily have um, a much faster solution. But I think the key thing that I have to go back to is belief. And if you don't believe that it's going to work, and it always surprises me that the people that say I don't believe it are the ones that don't have the science degree or they don't, they haven't got the study, I should say, in that particular brain science or, um, you know, the biology of the body and the technology of the brain. They don't understand that. And yet they're the first ones to say, oh, I don't believe in that stuff. And oh, it's a bit of guff for me. And I just go, oh, well, I don't really care because I measure by results. And I've been always done that. And I've got the result. So, um, yes, I sustain my health by looking after myself. But it was my experience with Ed Stretcher that helped me turn the corner and helped me fall back in love with my life. So thank you, Ed. I really do. I can't thank him enough. So I really hope that lots and lots of other people have exposure to this. And, you know, if you do have exposure to this and you have or financially can extend beyond the, I would say do whatever you have to do to get the money to give it to this man for him to do his work because he also uses that money to help those who are less fortunate so he you know he helps orphanages and he helps kids and oh my gosh I mean he's just amazing and so if you can extend even beyond that which I have done and I just think like you know we're all in this together and if we can learn to uh, help each other then we're going to be a long way to making and healing this planet a lot faster.